Thank God they gave me ketchup. Today I got Moretti's. It was a Friday battered cod special. And I love me some battered cod. Like, I hope this shit is good. They probably only gave me two pieces, y'all. <gasps> oh, thank God. Thank the Lord. Three pieces. And that is how it's done. So, hey. Oh, no. I dropped something. Their fries are a little bit questionable. Mm, not right. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Oh. I forgot to tell y'all. You know who we saw in concert for my birthday? Well, Jonathan loves this guy. And we always said that whenever he comes to town, we're going to have to go see him. Macklemore. <clears throat> it's so funny because so many people are like, who is that? It's the guy who sings Thrift Shop. And I've always really liked him, but I never really knew any songs past Thrift Shop, obviously, like most people. And he's very, like, positive messages and just good vibes overall. But when we went, it was like all people who looked older than us, but were probably younger than us, because that's just usually how it works out, with their like fucking 12-year-olds, 15-year-olds and shit, I just kept saying to Jonathan, I'm like, I have no fork. Thanks, guys. Thanks. I'm like, it's crazy to think that this could have been us. Like, I could have been here with my 16-year-old kid. Mm. Ah, it's okay. But yeah, it's just nuts to know that we're getting to the point where we're getting, like, old enough to have... 18 year old, 19 year old kids. Mm. I'm so glad that I don't have a baby daddy or multiple. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but. not for me. Mm. It was good though. It was a good show. Mm -hmm. I don't think it really, his music's not really like kid appropriate. Like it is, but you know these dancers who are like gyrating on him and his music's like relatively, it's not chill, but it's not anywhere near remotely sexual. So you could just tell that it was just because he could. Like it got really quiet around us sometimes. <laughs> like what is she doing to him? It just made no sense, but a solid I'm going to say a solid 8 out of 10. A strong B. But. He sounds exactly the same. Live as he does over the radio. He's very talented. Mm. Um, what else? We've been at a real um, Korean barbecue kick lately. Can you believe it's going to be 2024? Because 
I feel like between 2019 and like 2022, even 2023, but like 2019 to 2022, it just blipped. Like, I really don't even know what century it is. I like the fish. It is very difficult to perfect a nice, crispy, light batter. But it's good. I was just thinking of Okay. I have a timer on me. Oops. I hurt in my pocket. Pause. Let me swallow first. <laughs> Can I tell y'all a story? I, I'm really like fucked up about it. Like not so much anymore, but. I know this bitch is so obsessed with me. I met somebody on here. Not in person. But there was a certain person I'm gonna use they, them general pronouns because I don't even want to give this person it's a boogie person the satisfaction even though they'll know that I'm talking about them I actually wanted to talk to y'all about it a long time ago but it made me really physically sick like there was a time where I kind of stopped not because of this person but the whole thing freaked me out some of you may have noticed a person in the past, like past, like they don't, they haven't commented on my stuff in like, since last year, but this person just wouldn't fucking stop commenting. And I'm talking like, they will watch everything in detail. Like, I don't know if they were taking notes or they just had a really good memory. And then we were paragraphs of comments so you know it's like you know the whole purpose of me starting this channel is to connect with people why don't I just try but honestly I think I just made myself too available and we got really close really fast and there's a lot of you that have been commenting and supporting me for a long time I'm not talking about any of you Um, but I gave them my info and I right away reached out. Why the fuck is this guy here? Sorry, I have this patient who comes in like 20 minutes early. It's so fucking annoying. I hate him. I can't even fucking concentrate now because it's fucking creepy. He's probably like masturbating in his car. So, I'll make it quick. Mm, I'm gonna smell fishy when I go back to work. I mean, we talk every day. 
We had a lot of things in common. But I guess they also had a channel. So I would support them. They would support me, but... It just started getting, like, kind of competitive. I tried not to compare myself on my end, you know? But you can tell they were like, oh, you have X amount of comments, or who's that person that commented, or, you know, you're getting more subscribers, or, like, you know? And then one day we just stopped talking, and it's like... I don't know. It just it got weird at the end. Like my nachos video from a long time ago got a lot of views, and I didn't even expect it or anything. And it was like one of the first to get a lot of views. And by a lot, I mean over a thousand. That's a lot to me. Some shit just won't. And then the very next day, who the fuck do you think does a nacho video? So I was like, okay. But, it was like, I don't know. I'm trying not to hate, but I haven't visited their channel at all. I, like, deleted all my comments. I'm like, I don't want this bitch to find me. But I know she's still here being, like, a silent viewer. I hope she's not. Rewind. Well, there he goes, is she? Fuck. Maybe I didn't end up being who she thought I was. Like, I try not to take it personal, but I gave a lot of my time and energy to this person and gave them, like, I, I thought it was, like, a good reciprocal, reciprocal relationship. And then one day I just started reaching out more. And then he never talked to me. So I was like, you know what? I'm not going to talk shit and say anything ill will. But I will say, like, even though this person had a lot of great points in their video, show your face. Even your lips. No one just wants to see, like, the end of your hair and, like, your titties without a bra. I mean, I have videos without a bra, but it is what it is. I guess I'm just hurt from the situation because they literally were like, we're going to be friends forever. Don't pull the fucking F word on me, bro. Don't tell me forever when you just mean a fucking fuck person. <sighs> I don't know. I wanted to give it a try and just see, you know. But things don't end on my accord sometimes, you know. And I feel like when I do end a friendship, it's because something that person did or said. But, like, not having closure, you know. You're like, what did I do wrong? Like, And there are times where people just become antisocial and just cut everyone off. And, like, you can't take it personal. But um, I don't know if I can ever find like genuine relationships with women. I don't want relationships with men. I mean, I'm basically married now. I'm gonna be married December first. There's no reason for me and another man to be a friend. There's just not. Um. sucks but you know the whole expression like people come in in your life for a season for a reason and let me think I think this person might have come into my life to make me realize a boundaries And B, to 
made me realize that it's not always about me. Because I honestly don't believe in my heart of hearts that they just stop liking me or just stop wanting to associate with me. I think it was just too much time and energy that they didn't want to invest in. And they just wanted to be at home, you know, eating and masturbating all day instead of, you know, making friends with people. But... I don't want to say this person doesn't have any friends, but they don't have any friends. So, you know, you can see why. I think they just, like, probably get too close and then just pull away when it's too hot and heavy. But, um, I mean, I would love to be some of your guys' friends and maybe meet y'all someday. But I think it'd probably be smart just to keep it where it's at. Just have an idea of me based off what I post. <laughs> like, damn, this bitch is fucked up. I'm not that fucked up. I'm actually, like, a really great person. And this is my video diary. And I personally seen the progression. You know, I still talk shit about people. And I always will. Um, Fake-ass bitch. But I do see, like, the levels of consciousness growing to be more self-reflective and finding my way back to God and my spirituality and religion, which I realize that my goal in whatever amount of time, whether that be a year or whatever, that I want to reflect back on my stories that made me believe you know where's the faith and based on all the things that have happened to me like the Deanna story that one pulled me farther away from God but then there were things that happened where I'm like okay I don't know why these terrible things happen to good people that's the mystery of life but too many good things have happened in my life where I've seen miracles unfold where I'm like, you can't tell me there's not a higher power. And that's just my personal belief. Um, This new guy didn't offer me coffee when he, when he went to fucking Starbucks. And I offered him Chipotle on his first day. And he brought soup for lunch. So you already know that he's a psycho. Um, And at least I offered. And I'm glad that he declined. Because that would have been 20 extra dollars that I wouldn't be willing to spend on a complete stranger. But it'd be nice to be like, hey, you want anything from Starbucks? And I'd be like, better like, yeah. But no, I don't need Starbucks. I get frustrated with Starbucks because they'd be fucking up your drink and you'd just be paying like $8, $10 for what? So I just stick with like basic bitch drinks like caramel macchiato or like white chocolate mocha because I just ask them for anything relatively complicated and it just does not come out as planned and i'm not gonna be a douchebag and be like can you remake that it was supposed to be 375 degrees this is 374 like at least i'm not that white you know what i mean there's levels to it i'm not white but people call me white because of like i talk like this but i'm not but I guess I'm, like, light complected. It doesn't fucking matter what we are. We're human. And we're killing it in life. And I gotta go take care of this bitch-ass fucking perverted-ass patient. Bye, y'all.